Hello everybody, it's Peter the Rock, it's Saturday, Saturday the 17th of February. Cheapside Lane, South Bucks District Council. Yes, I'm in Buckinghamshire. Maybe some of you live here or know about it. But I'm nearing a place called Denham. And I'm going to take two or three short videos. The first one is to show exactly where I am, which is nearby. Denham Village Memorial Hall. Fortunately there are no signs outside with any information but the most impressive feature I find in this whole area is this wall. Uh, the Emperor Hadrian himself, if he were still alive, would be rubbing his hands with glee at the size of this wall. You know that there, there is a wall that would keep out the Picts and the Scots I haven't really been sure who, who the Picts are um, or keep the English or the Saxons in. It's very impressive. don't know how tall it is, 10 foot or something. But uh, I think the people who live in this sort of, it must be a manor house or something in, in, the, in big grounds the other side of it, uh, value their privacy and why not. So they've erected this uniform wall with millions of bricks all around the property, which is very nice. Now, another feature, which I like, I love really, is this in front of me. Now, this looks almost like a drain, but is in fact the River Misborn. Now, those of you who've seen some of my early videos will have seen me um, wandering around Amersham and the River Mistborn is there. And it's actually a similar size in Amersham, which is, I suppose, I don't know, eight, ten miles to the west. So it's, a little, it's kind of a forgotten river. You know, I frequently um, walk up and down parts of the River Chess and the River Colne. Uxbridge has got three rivers, the Colne, the Fraze and the Pin. Um, nobody really talks much about the Mistborn. Um, didn't, wasn't there a, a knight called Guy of Misborn? Maybe I've got that wrong. Guy of Gisborne. Oh well, you can't mix up history and geography, I've always found. Or maybe you can. Anyway, it looks almost like a chalk stream. Perhaps it is. It's very, very shallow. And no signs to say what it is. Um, but I know that it's the River Misborn. And in fact, it it get, flows under the road into the the gardens of the house with the high wall and there are all sorts of rumors about who lives there or lived there probably somebody very famous or somebody very rich I've heard all sorts of rumors there's no point in repeating them and there's no point in trying to find out because I shouldn't think they if it was Sir Roger Moore oh, James Bond I'd, I'd hardly think he would stick his name on the doorbell um, <laughs> oh, hello, is, uh, is Mr. Bond in? No, he's uh, not, uh, unavailable. Now, the uh, River Mistborn is travelling reasonably fast, but it's coming into the village of Denham. I've got to keep my wits about me because I'm on a, a slightly camber, unfriendly part of the road. There's no pavement here. The River Mistborn has flooded its bank there, you can see that. And um, I don't want to be driven into the river by some uh, mad uh, driver. <laughs> so be prepared for a sudden change of plan. But uh, Denham's always interested me because it's, it's not one place. There's Denham, New Denham, Higher Denham, Denham Green. You know, there are Denhams all over the place in this part of uh, East Buckinghamshire, South East Buckinghamshire. And here are a couple of benches. Look brand new to me, back to back. The most remarkable thing about these benches uh, is that they don't seem to have a name, you know, in memory of F Fred Boggis, a dustman of this parish. Um, his ashes are scattered in Westminster Abbey, that sort of thing. Now there is a huge tree, absolutely huge, 
Isn't that marvellous? Aren't I lucky to occasionally run into trees that have, have seen it all? Well, I've seen a lot of things. Now, the River Misbourne, um, having uh, come out from this huge um, gar gardens estate, go back into some other estate. So there you are. So just a brief bit of the River Misbourne. Uh, this is a little daffodil patch, and we've got one little daffodil. You know how interested I am in how spring is coming. There's some lovely little little daffodils beginning to flower there. Little little group there. There's always there's always a bit of a purple one nearby. Some purple ones there. So now the uh, village of Denham itself, which we are very close to entering, I will describe a little bit more in the next video. Oh hello. There looks like a bit of a hole in the wall there. I'm not sure what caused that. Maybe some, uh, I imagine it was some damp, not, not some sort of rocket attack or something. Some, some people don't like the people who live in this house. Maybe it's because they don't like James Bond. But then who does? Well, I suppose a lot of people do. Anyway, um, that's it for the moment for this video. Peter, the rock, that's my name, on uh, uh, the rock from the Greek Latin Petrus meaning rock on a Saturday afternoon, 3.30ish, uh, the 17th of February. And uh, rather strangely, here is a bit more River Misborn. Maybe it, it bifurcates spreads out. Bit of a mystery, but uh, I think it probably ends up in the Grand Union Canal. If, uh, uh, not too sure about that, but the house next to it is called Mistborn Lodge, which is a big clue. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Peter the Rock, Saturday the 17th of uh, February. Um, uh, 